everybody, welcome to Kids in the Kitchen again. Um, today I will be making banana flapjacks. I know that this is free flapjacks, but I'm going to be attempting 175 grams of porridge oats, one and a half bananas, three tablespoons of clear honey, 50 grams of butter, and one beaten egg. Um, next, lightly grease a tray. A small shallow baking tray. Well, this is going to be too much. Okay, so I have got some bananas here, and it says place fruit and whatever else you've got into a mixing bowl and mix well. So, I'm going to banana. So, you just put the fruit or whatever you're doing, and the oats into a mixing bowl, and mix them. This is uh, what it looks like so far. Now all I have to do is turn my hob onto a medium heat, add the butter, my three tablespoons of honey, and the porridge oats. So I will just do that now. Okay, so just add all of the butter into the small pan, and add three tablespoons of honey. Then mix well. Next add all the porridge oats into the small pan with the butter and the honey. Then mix it all up. This is what it should look like so far. Okay, so now I have to add my egg. Yes. Oh well. Okay, oh, flasher's on again. So here is my mixture. Right, so I'm just gonna add all of this into here. But, oh, that's heavy. <laughs> okay, so this is what the almost finished product looks like. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, so I don't know if I said this before, but preheat the oven to gas mark four. Just wait a bit and then put uh, your flapjack in for about 15 minutes. I've just had it in for 15 minutes. So now I have to leave it to cool before I... So here are my flapjacks and they do smell absolutely amazing. Um, all that I've done is left them to cool in the fridge overnight and then cut them up into these small little squares but you can cut them up into fingers as well and can I just say they taste amazing.